Hello good people of YouTube, All About Nat is back with another video and today as you can tell by the title it is officially day two of the work I'm doing on Clara. Um, as you can probably tell it is a slow process because well for mainly for two reasons I have in this last couple of weeks been ill, not well at all. Um, I'm not going to say it was flu because you kind of bedridden when you've got proper flu. Um, but it was a heavy, cold, sore throat, cough, and I'm still feeling a little bit um, not quite right, but I have a little bit more energy than I had a few days ago. Plus also, I am still self-employed, so I still got work to do. And, you know, it would be lovely to be able to solely work on Clara, you know, until I'm ready to go up to Scotland. But, you know, we all have jobs and we've got jobs to do. So we've got to do it when we can. Now today, you'll see I've kind of taken a lot of that sofa away. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I'm going with my electric screwdriver to take part the uh, wooden construction of that sofa. I'm going to see how far I get. I am not a pro by any stretch of the imagination. All of this stuff that I'm doing myself, I'm just going to be winging it. So we're just going to wing it together, guys. Um, so, yeah, got the screwdriver bits. And I might have to get a handheld one as well, a manual one, um, just in case. It's Because it's old, it's probably going to be really stuck. Um, so we're going to take the sofa away yes now i was going to just dump it all at the tip but one of my friends said to me now nah, what if in the future you want to sell clara mm. can't imagine it right now but you know these things happen i might want to upgrade i might have more money you might be able to get an all singing all dancing camper you just don't know what's going to happen in the future so um i'm going to keep it i'm going to store it away uh, in case i do because you just never know, do you? You don't know what's going to happen. So it's all going to go in big bags in the cellar for now. And then once I move out, once I move this table out, if you saw my short video, this table is the perfect size for where I want my workspace desk to go. And this table is over 20 years old. So it's done me well it was when I uh, when I finished uni and I moved I moved to Manchester and I lived with my friend we bought this table from Ikea and um, this has been a brilliant table for studios since then I used it in our old house I've used it um, in the attic for it as a, um, a desk a work desk and it is here now 20 25 years later something um so yes it's done me well this got our money's worth so guys before we do get into all that you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please 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 also like the video and comment down below your thoughts your ideas i want to know if you have any ideas for the van i really do i love to get other people's opinions so please comment them down below now Without further ado do, let's get into it. So this is all the stuff that I've moved off, okay? This table, this huge table, which I presume is if there's like four of you staying in here, is a massive table for here, as you can see. This post was in this cupboard, as was this smaller table, which I am going to keep because this is perfect for if I want to have dinner and I don't want to clear off stuff from the desk, the work desk here. I can just pull that out. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm going to be taking apart uh, and just see how it goes. I don't know what I'm going to do here. As you can see, this is attached to this. So I might have to get a second opinion on that. Um, as I've said, I ain't a pro. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to wing it. Um, so, yeah. So let's do a little time lapse and crack on. <laughs> quick stop in the time lapse um, because this is a little bit harder than I thought um, there's a couple of screws like I've taken the screws out of that completely and it's like welded to that um, and then these screws have totally been um, oh bloody hell what's the word uh, ruined <laughs> the only way I can say it um, because they've, oh, there's a word for it and I can't remember the bloody word. When you're doing that and then it just totally, uh, blah, 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 the screw. So you can't get it out, whatever that word is. Comment down below. I know it, but I can't think of it. Um, but anyway, this is going to be taken off. And I'll tell you why. Because when you've been holding these bits, and you smell your hand, it's disgusting. These smell rank. So I've already started to rip. This is coming off. This is coming off, the cover of this, because it's disgusting. And I'm going to cover it with um, just some nice plywood, because there's nothing better than the smell of wood. I love it. And if this van smells of wood, that, to me, is a win. Um, so I'm just going to pause for a minute try to work out how I'm going to get these out and then I will be back with you obviously for you in just a second This is most definitely not as simple as I thought it was going to be, to be quite honest with you. And as you can see, I also got a little bit distracted. <laughs> so I've just found out that there's actually no insulation. So this is fiberglass. This is literally the one layer to the van and then the carpet was on top of that so what I'm gonna do and it's probably a little bit more work than I was probably intending to but I thought might as well if I'm taking this off I'm gonna put two um, so there you can see there's an old strip of wood there where they've screwed into because obviously it's gonna be very difficult to screw into that and you're probably going to end up going through to the outside. So I'm going to put another strip of wood here and another one on the bottom. And I might put a couple here using, um, I'm going to research glues that can attach wood to fiberglass. Now it looks like here, it really does look like they've used so you know like a glue gun which i'm sure they haven't there's got to be an, a different type of glue but i'm going to be looking at that um yeah i'm going to be looking at that online have a have a bit of a research but i was very pleased actually at how easy this came off so fingers crossed the other bits will be that easy then I'm going to put some insulation. So I've still got quite a bit of insulation left from the shed. 
So I'm going to use some of this wool insulation, then ply over the top of it. Um, and then at least I can screw into the parts where I've put the wood. I'm going to make sure, and I've got to remember this, to know where the wood bits are. So I know where to screw. Because mm. I don't want big holes coming out of Clara. So, yeah, and the thing, let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's coming off pretty damn easy as well. Yucky, yucky. Uh, but I'm going to leave it here for now. But the next time that I see you is when this bit will hopefully have disappeared. Um, and then I can give this a bit of a clean. Um, but it's definitely a longer job than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Um, just because it's, it's hard to know what's attached to what. And like, for example, this here, this is all one piece. So I can't get rid of that. I can only get rid of this here. And then that, which I think is screwed in from the other side. I'm going to take this off anyway because it's disgusting, this brown carpet. Ugh, the smell is just gross. It's just gross. Um, yeah, I can't wait for, for this van to smell like new wood. Mm, just love that smell. So anyway... Thank you so much for watching this. I know it wasn't quite as long and detailed as I hoped it was going to be. Um, but it just shows you, actually, a simple job. Oh, a straightforward job, you know, let's just take out the sofa. It's actually not as easy as you think. I mean, I've got quite quite far-ish. It's just these, these sections here. And also, because some of the, um, the, the screws, I remember the word, stripped, some of the screws have been stripped, so it's taken me a bit longer to take some of these wooden panels out, which is handy. Uh, but yeah, hopefully next time I do day three, I will have got rid of this and you'll be able to see the results. So thank you once again for watching and all that now. We'll see you on the next one. Keep it real, guys.